let me know the swept comma and uh, circle with uh, rectangle uh, that go for sketch and first uh, draw the line I'm choosing splines here and draw the line as, you were, as per your record shape the advantage of uh, swept blend is we can join two different shapes then go for swept blend and choose the section 1 this should be sketch selection and go for sketch and draw the circle where these two lines are meeting that indicates the end of the line then we have to draw the another, another uh, shape in next end before that we have to divide this circle because um, the square has a four corners so the four corners should be joined with the circle that's why I have divided the circle next choose uh, insert Let's go for sketching in second end then choose a rectangle and draw here and apply it now you can see one end is circle, another one is one end, another one is uh, rectangle. Like this also, we can use the swept blanch. You can vary this uh, shape dimensions also. Now see, I'm going to change the angle. For example, I'm changing the angle 35 degree. See, this change now. For example, 65. See this? It will change depends upon our axis like this way we can draw also we can change the dimensions uh, by using this yeah now remove the axis you can see this now you can make it as a hollow also see now it is a hollow section also you can cap the ends when it is being hollow we can cap it see this options uh, cap and if you choose this we can make the hollow and cap ends you can see the difference here and apply it by using uh, sketch one you can edit the shape also for example see this now I'm going to edit the sketch this is the normal sketch I have drawn you can edit as per your uh, shape this I'm trying another one line if I play ok the figure automatically will update it can vary the dimensions this is the benefit of Creo yeah you can change the shapes as per your record thank you